Uh, Taurus, Russell Crowe, Brandon Lee, rustling paper, paperwork, paperback writer, writing a book, maybe, probably uh, doing loads of paperwork to work and it's all stacking up back to back and more so in back, Jack, black to black, uh, back, Jack, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, 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 Jasmine, uh, Julian, Jason, going to court, waiting for my court date, so on and so forth, uh, and journaling and doing a load of paperwork. <clears throat> Thanks very much, that's what you got coming up for the week and I'll see you later. <laughs> so like I don't know something that needs sorting out pretty much like I'm gonna have to go through my cupboards and pretty much sort everything out now okay so let's sort all of this out now let's get it all out under the table let's get it all done all finished get my work finished and done for the day and then I can relax for a lot of years what I'm hearing done or putchy uh, but let's get it all done let's sort of get it all dusted some of you are cleaner or you're called Tina or a Cortina, and you're interested in cars, which would be a Cancer and Lopez 7 or physical cars, and you're doing loads of things like a Cortina. Like I'm doing a car up, and it might be for a Darren Mott, maybe, but an MOT, you might have an MOT that you're booking it in for, for a car, or you're like, I mean, if this isn't women, this is the guys that are kind of doing something around cars. Chasing cars. Chasing a car down, trying to track down the MOT number or trying to track down my uh, paperwork for my driving license or MOT paper. That might be the paperwork that you're looking for. For a lot of you, it could be to do with a Scorpio or an Aries or a Life Path Energy. But uh, I'm having to do a load of paperwork and look for maybe a car certificate that might be coming up for me or a death certificate. They're also saying a death certificate. And I need proof of death or proof of identity. And it's all involving paperwork. Okay. And I've got to find identity. I've got to identify with... Uh, I've got to go to the court and identify proof of death to say that I need to prove it first before. So it's around the Scorpio and Aries. Okay. It came up in their reading also. Identification of death. And the trouble is when I've been saying seven days... There have been three people that have told me when I've said, listen to what Steve said. Three people that have told me that their friends are called Steve and two two people lost friends called Steve. And it freaks me out a little bit because my name is Steve, obviously. So, uh, yeah, there's some kind of like proof of identity of death certificate and uh, finalizing things up around people that are losing uh, losing their religion, someone that's religious. Okay, doing a load of book work around a bookworm or you read a lot of books or me, I, mine's the Akashic Book of Records. So like Bibles and stuff like that and I don't know. But like uh, Bible bashing, I'm hearing like bashing the Bible or bashing a bishop or something like that. Unless you're just knocking one out all the time. I don't know, but like, well, if you're part of the Bible, you definitely don't want to be doing that, right? <laughs> I don't know why it just keeps coming up around religion. Um, because I keep bringing up REM around Virgo, like, and here's Johnny, I like, um, losing my religion, trying to keep an eye on you. Someone's always keeping an eye on someone, okay, to see what they say and what they don't say. And see, see, see what you want, but don't leave me with no direction. It's left me with no direction, too. Seeing a two is hugely in the last reading of Aries, which is Aries, Scorpio placements, four placements, two life paths that come together to make a four. Any relative, any person, but two was in that, and I think it's in this as well. Around like uh, I'm just standing here, like waiting on, on an answer from someone first before I can actually go ahead and make this decision. Now that might be around a love interest or something like that, but something has to happen first before I can make my final decision. Because it feels like finalizing something, like I need to sign dockets uh, in order to finalize an agreement and to, to fully put it to rest. So there might be the death certificate type sort of, I mean, when I lost all my family members, it was one of those times where, you know where uh, all of the bills get transferred over and money and you're looking into a bank and if there is any money, you know, and uh, like life insurances. I think my father had four life insurances, uh, but he was an Aries, <laughs> which is a Scorpio, uh, but don't worry about it. But like, uh, yeah, like um, passing over wills and stuff like that. You have, there's a certain amount of things that you have to go through and wait for the courts to say, you know, uh, trying to find out bank. It came up for your last reading, Taurus, I think, where I said take it to the grave. 
it might be where somebody took uh, passcodes and bank codes or something to to the grave in order to be able to try and find out what those numbers were. Some of you, it might be where you're following me and you're like looking for the date of birth. Okay, but you don't need your date. Well, date of birth is going to really represent what number you can watch major arcana. Oh, okay. So to, I forget what your name is. Sorry, when you were saying what major arcana is one, like there isn't one. There isn't a major arcana card that you can do what I'm telling you. Like, you know, my mother is a life path four, for instance, right? I'm a life path seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two. So that shows me the karma that we have. Okay. So. Uh, when you look at date of birth, date of birth, the date of birth is what that is that accumulates to the energy of the two life paths that come together. That's the time, sorry, time. I've, I've done a video, it's below. But time of birth. Time of birth is the time of an awakening. Okay, Two life paths come together, experience, life path number, time of birth. Okay, um, so... Yeah, but for the person that was asking, you know, what do I watch if I'm a life path one? There isn't a major arcana card in here that says one because that's basically 11, 11. That's 11. But if it was 11, it would be two. OK, because that's what the where the major arcana starts at justice. OK, Libra. So like when you're looking at numerology and numbers, if you're looking for what can I watch if I'm a one, there isn't a major arcana card. So there can't be a major happening of destiny of that. Okay, because you, you obviously got the Ten of Cups, one, Ten of Wands, one, Ace of Cups, pages, you know, but there is not a, a destiny number of one, okay, because it's divisible by of a cycle of nine, ten, one, you know, but yeah, there, there isn't a major arcana that will represent major, you see, that's why you find that number, because a major arcana card is an, an unavoidable circumstance, okay, so circumstances in life, so when your life experiences come together to make a number that's your destiny number so that's the struggles that you may or may not have around that number okay so when you know what the number is then you pretty much know what to expect what major arcana reading because when i say major arcana i mean a star sign there isn't a major arcana one okay it doesn't matter whether people say aries aries is a four just because it's the beginning of the sector of 12 okay but one aries four aries scorpio okay so, you know, everybody will tell you when you're watching tarot card readings, they'll pick up a card and they'll say, okay, this is a Gemini, blah, blah, blah. But when you look at the number, it says, you know, so it depends on how you read or how you look at it, right? <clears throat> but um, that's just how I read, right? It's just how I see the codes. Uh, so there's something around trying to find out codes, okay? Trying to find out the code to the bank account, to the ISIS account, to your account, just be careful around accountants and tax, or tax here, life path seven or seven, or that's me that's come up with this, but something around MOT, tax, uh, money, transactions, trying to find out what a passcode is, but that might be you guys trying to find out the birth certificate, death certificate, so on and so forth, times, dates, that kind of thing, um, filling up a, a journal of books and times, you know, so on and so forth. You could even be seeing fucking numbers and rounding them all together and go, oh my God, that would make this number as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for instance, just now before I started this, it said 0707, and I've been, I pick it up all the time because I'm a life path seven. 0707, what's that? 007. Two sevens are what? 16. What's one and six? Seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's why it's a lucky number seven. Let's see. <clears throat> like a nine, really. Okay, so let's go. So, Taurus, how you doing? Taurus, 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 this week. What's Taurus got going on this week? Weeklies. I'm doing weeklies this week, Steve. I could be a tarot card reading and I'm doing weeklies. Uh, I'm hearing Wakefield or Wakefield or someone up north or something like that. Uh, but I'm just chilling, brother. I'm just literally investing my time into myself. But if you're if you're disturbed, then don't think about yourself, right? Because uh, if there's things going on and you're thinking negatively, then you're thinking of yourself. It's, yeah, don't worry about it. I don't want to go into it again. Just what's the Aries reading? <laughs> Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jazz, Min, Jack, Jackie, JJ, AJ, AJ, Ajax, Ajax, Jax, Jax. Jax, Ajax, something to do with um, Maxwell, Silver, Hammer, Silver, you right, Silver? Uh, silver, Hammer, Silver and Gold, Money, uh, Silver, 
Uh, so Jerusalem, Jew, Jew, Jewish people. Um, but like now I'm picking up Thor. I've been watching fucking Marvel for fucking... I've nearly got through them all. Thor. So you might be watching Marvel, okay? But like Thor, I keep picking up Thoring Out. Some ISIS account or ICE account that's Thoring Out. Or unless you're Laura or Lucy or Lucifer or Capricorn, someone's fucked fridge is pretty much storing it out. It's been dripping everywhere. <laughs> but like, uh, um, like you seem to be like warming up my heart. Like it seems to be thawing. Frost, cock frost, frost. Uh, Ryan, frost, right? Are you Ryan? Sorry. Um, frost. I keep saying frost. Anyway, let's move on. Um, they're great, Frosties. Frosty the snowman. Something's thawing out, like snow is thawing. Or thaw. Like, thaw. That's what I'm watching at the moment, which is The Avengers. And then as soon as I finish The Avengers, I'm now going to go on to... Um, Thor series <laughs> but like uh, it's great it's on um, the Mickey Mouse fucking show whatever it is uh, good deal um, Beatles that's why I watch the Beatles if you're on there watch the Beatles nine hours <laughs> Fargo nine hours of uh, Beatles recording where he sat down man for the first fucking time writing let it be when I in the time of the times of trouble, Mother Mary, come to me. Speak your words of wisdom, let it be. Anyway, let's see. Uh, Aries. Sorry. You could really could be dealing with the four. Aries, Scorpio. Taurus. What they got going on, please? Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Oh, it's typical. <laughs> it's typical. Taurus, Sagittarian. You're probably having a right fucking Barney with a life path seven. A Cancerian or a Steve here. Uh, yeah, your mother could have like a Sagittarius moon. Sorry, guys. I just like, I, I don't get on with Taurus. Like, my best friend is a Taurus. Like, but there are certain Sagittarian Taurus energies that do not mix with my chart because I'm a Scorpio rising. <laughs> so it really does push people's buttons. So if I annoy you, you can leave me a dislike or a hatred comment, whatever you like. I don't. I really don't mind. But uh, you will not wind me up anymore by your responses of your own anger. Uh, Icarus, Icarus, Dickery, Dock, Dock, Dock of the Bay, sitting on the Dock of Bay, Bailey, Bailey, Bailiffs, money that is owed rent. Somebody owes a lot of rent here, and their their rent is due, like mortgage or their house. Or housing. This is my friend Chris. Oh, uh, what are we going to do with you, Chris? <laughs> Don't let it annoy you, Taurus. Jesus. <laughs> you have to be a Pisces to know that one. Um, but yeah, something to do with around um, housing, development, rent. Rent is due and what do I do to pay it? And I paid my dues time after time. I've paid this time and time again. I've said this time and time again. I've played this. Some people are stupid. Well, everybody's stupid. We are flawed human beings because we are apes. Some people are way too intelligent for their own good. It's because they see them as stubborn and as arrogant. Power is dangerous. Money is dangerous. You know, don't need things. Send to yourself. Say to yourself as well, Mary. Steve. Say to yourself, Steve. Settle down, Steve. Calm down, Steve. <laughs> What's that? Carmel, Steve. Call Mel. Calling Mel. Calling Mel. Calling Mel. Calling Mel. Calling Mel. Calling Mel. Carmel. Carmel. Call Mel. Call Mel. Oh, really? Melanie. Mel, I'll call you in a bit, bruv. Mel. Mel G. Mel G? Or spell? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, let's see, uh, Taurus, what is going on with you? Taking an offence to something, Taurus. Oh, dear. Some of you have just been like, it just feels like this energy of being left and abandoned with nowhere to go. Like, I just don't know what to do with myself. Like, some of you are, you haven't got any work or your partner hasn't got any work and 
Someone is just extremely fucking confused here. Extremely confused. Like they're waiting for something to happen. Like I'm just waiting to see what happens first. It's like a race. First the worst, second the best. You're the dirty loser. We are better than you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like standing at like, okay, on your march, get set. Okay, we're beating you. We're winning. We're beating you. <laughs> I mean, what is it? Michael Jackson and bad? Or oh, mama, she's been bad. Or I feel bad. I shouldn't feel bad. Don't feel bad for anybody. Definitely don't feel bad for yourself. Fuck people. It's truth. Uh, don't worry about people. Don't worry about yourself. If you're worrying about yourself, then listen to what it is that I'm saying. I'm worrying about myself. I'm worrying about myself. Why would you want to worry about yourself? <laughs> Do you get it? Listen to the words. I'm worried about myself. What are you worried about yourself for? <laughs> because something externally is annoying me. My ex is pissing me off. <laughs> That's normally one, right? It's my ex that done it. It's my ex that fucking annoys me. It's people that annoy me. So why are you letting them annoy you? Mm -hmm. Why do you keep letting someone walk all over you like a piece of shit? If they do. What's your response to that? Fuck off! Comes back up for review. To see if the person will do it again. Until you have a boundary of seven to say, Nope. I am not going to be responding to your stupid actions anymore. There's obviously something wrong with you. You don't need to say that. You just need to avoid people that are angry. Because when they're angry, they're going to take it out on you to say that you caused their anger. It was you that made me angry. No. They do not build anger in a test tube and give it to you and say, there you go, there's a test tube full of fucking anger, Sagittarius. <clears throat> a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know. And then there you go. I've just bottled up my emotions for you and give you that. What are you going to do with that now? I'm angry. It was you that made it. I oh, know, I'll just give you it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Taurus. Awake, death, birth, don't know. Bored, fed up, frustrated. Not working, not getting on. Don't know what to do with myself. Show me the other person, please. Connected to Taurus. The other person connected to Taurus. Bruv, why is it that when I do Taurus, why? <laughs> is, I mean, <laughs> is this the other person? <laughs> I mean, fuck, bruv, what the fucking hell? There is so much just nonsense. The sense that makes none whatsoever. A load of cards that just mean bored, frustrated, fed up, getting angry, not doing anything. Stuck. It's COVID-19. No, fucking COVID-19. Fucking hell. COVID-19 is here. Obviously, right? How many injections did it ever take when people give you the TB? Tuberculosis. All of those kind of things. How many jabs did you need to have? One. Just one, right? How come now we need to have four or three <laughs> and everybody's still catching COVID? Right? <laughs> it's a time of reflection to be able to be at one with oneself, to learn that when there's isolation and there's separation from the universe, it's actually a good thing. <laughs> People think that it's a bad thing to be alone. It's not fuck. It's because we're flawed. We've actually been doing it the wrong fucking way. For centuries. Now everybody has to get used to change. They're like, oh my fucking God. I can't change. Why? Because you're an inbred twat? 
<laughs> Sorry, but do you know what I'm saying? Because why? Because, well, the world is changing. But it must be the universe. No, no, no. We destroyed the fucking thing. <laughs> it's everybody else. No. No, no. I'm stressed about money. I'm stressed about bills. I'm stressed. Fuck right, I'm going to rip someone's head off. Guarantee that'll probably be a fish. <laughs> or someone called Gary. Or Tina. But they're a narc. <laughs> so have you ever seen a narcissist be happy? So are they happy? Or are they sad human beings? Both. So what are they? Man. Woman, what are we fucked, <laughs> absolutely and equivocably fucked. <laughs> because what do we do? We live with other human beings. So what happens if you don't have human beings? You're free. <laughs> uh, let's see. There you go. It's clarification from my girl. Let's see. Um, Taurus, show me the other side, please. Show me the person connected to Taurus on the other side. The other person connected to Taurus. The lovers. Gemini. Six Capricorn. Queen of Swords. It's a family thing, Jenny. It is, it's fucking family, bruv. I mean, what else is it? Oof, I can see this pattern of behaviour in here for me. I know what this would mean. This is not love. This is lust. Just fucking... <coughs> I mean... That you've got a complete and utter worry wart here. I've told you guys, my north node of my opposition is Taurus rising. If you're a Taurus rising, I'm, I will fuck you up, bruv. You'll hate me. You would hate me. You would. Everything I say, you wouldn't believe in it. You wouldn't. No. No. You might for a start, but trust me, give me an hour or two or a couple of days or a week. Man, you'll be going somewhere else and you'll be like, this fucking blonde idiot does my fucking head in. Mm. Taurus Scorpio. Mm. a mother Sagittarius moon Taurus rising Taurus north node Scorpio north node Scorpio rising no matter what we do it just doesn't work it doesn't work it doesn't let bygones be bygones but it is what it is bruv it says what it does on the tin it's fuck here flawed human beings that get fucking angry at you that blame you you make me angry because you don't speak to me when i want you to speak to me you don't do what i you say too much shit you talk about yourself steve all the time we don't understanding what channeling really is steve ding ding clarification you're self-obsessed you're boring you don't do what everybody is what we're used to we are so used to reading a book that we've watched 10,000 billion trillion other tarot card readers that have all bred into me the same way of doing it that when I see something different, no, no, you're full of shit. <laughs> yeah. You're too arrogant. You're too truthful. You're too close to the truth. You're hitting a nerve. You're making me angry. I'm not making you angry. Don't watch. Simple as that. Just don't watch. Don't watch what makes you angry. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but is it the other people that are making you angry? Really? They don't They don't boil up your fucking emotions? What are your emotions, Taurus? Do you know what they are? Are you truly connected with being able to think, okay, I'm feeling angry. Okay. So I need to calm down. I need to notice. Who made me angry? Okay, well, that person's response kind of made me angry. So what's first pro protocol? Block the fuck out of them. Don't watch them. Don't be around them. Try to get away from them as fast as possible. Okay, can you do that? Is that family? Can you do that? Right. So what do you do? You'll just avoid this person like the plague. When they're in one door, you'll be out the other one. Gemini. Indoor, one door, outdoor, uh, right. When you've gone, I'll come out. When you're in the kitchen, I'll come out. When you go in the front room, I'll go in the kitchen. 
You don't get on. Your energy stinks around each other. It's an opposition. Taurus, you always get it. Okay. Could be your love life. Could be your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your sibling, whoever. The people that you're having conflict with. <laughs> it's not your love life all the time. Taurus. Let's go number Taurus. Show me the other person connected to Taurus. King of Swords. King and the Queen. This person's going to quiver. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> you know? Well, they don't. They're like, bro, I'm way too intelligent than to, to fight with people. I'm just going to do the wise thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Stephen King. Steve, you're a king. And a queen. Do you have a lot of air in your chop? Yep. <laughs> But don't forget, paradox number, queen is Gemini, which means slash Capricorn, six. Gemini slash Capricorn. Leo, Aquarius, so on and so forth. All right. Soul group sectors of people, business. Business first. Too wise in order to fight. Meditation. I feel relaxed, I feel comfortable. I may be sleeping. Me, I get up at three o'clock and I can't wait to start my day. I started really early this morning. Okay, I can't wait to start. Oh, sorry, this is not the same T-shirt. I have three of them. Okay, don't worry. I'm just losing weight. So I bought three T-shirts that fit. <laughs> That's what I do when I go shopping. Short for clothes these days. It's difficult uh, when you're bigger. You can't just go and just pick a medium. There's just... XL, like 3XL, stuff like that. Is you go and they've all been picked and gone. <laughs> uh, so you have to take what you can get normally. <clears throat> um, but yeah, uh, meditation is relaxation. Stable emotions. Physically and utterly equivocably stable. You will not shake my emotions by doing stupid things. Okay. So I just won't pay any attention to you. If you want to run around like an endless chicken... You do that, okay? You do that, I'll do me, boo. You do you, I'll do me. Okay. Dark thoughts. Waiting on someone's res response to provoke them. I've provoked a response and I'm waiting for what your reply is because I've provoked you to say it. What are you going to say? Nothing. Nothing. So I sit around waiting for you. When you're around this person, you feel very uneasy around this person. Very uneasy. You can sense danger for some of you. But this person's wise. They have some good information. They also have their good business minded as well. If someone's trying to help you out financially in business, Wise, listen to what this person says, Chris. <laughs> listen to what this person says, Steve. <laughs> Chris, Steve, Steve, this is me, yeah, Chris, my friend, Taurus. Listen to what Steve says. He's wise, he's educated, not by a book, failed every single thing at school. No. But he knows about wisdom, he knows about people, he's emotionally intelligent because he has a Gemini moon and Gemini in Mars. And your emotional intelligence is what it is that attracts people. Is your calm manner. That's why they come to you. For help. For support. Okay. But this person's also got some good ideas that you want to listen to. Here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, but it might take a little bit of warming up. Okay, so that's what I've got for you guys. Sorry, it's slightly shorter, but I'm actually going to see my friend Chris today and we're going to go out and I'm going to buy him some food and we're going to have a travel around. I'm going to take him shopping. <laughs> and he's a Taurus. Uh, anyway, so if you want the rest of the reading, clarified here, clarified here, thoughts and feelings, maybe, depending on the reading. But uh, yeah, be over on the full access bundle anyway if you want to join. It helps me out as a channel. Uh, but thank you very much, Taurus. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you over on the other side.